The Three Little Pigs and the Sneaky Wolf with Allergies One time, in a land full of cookies and rainbows, lived three little pigs named Porky, Oinky, and Snort. They were brothers, and while they loved each other, they could not agree on anything, especially on what kind of houses to build. Porky, the oldest, said, I'm going to build my house out of straw. It's soft, cozy, and it smells like breakfast cereal. Oinky, the middle pig, shook his head. No way. I'm building my house out of sticks. That way, when I'm bored, I can make a giant toothpick sculpture. But Snort, the youngest and possibly the wisest, decided, I'm building my house out of bricks. It's strong, solid, and I can finally have my own pizza oven. The three pigs went off to build their homes, but little did they know, the big bad wolf had moved to the neighborhood. Well, actually, he was more of the big sneaky wolf with allergies, but he didn't tell anyone that. One sunny afternoon, the sneaky wolf spotted Porky's straw house and thought, Aha! A straw house? That'll be like blowing out birthday candles. So, he knocked on the door and said in his most dramatic voice, Little pig, little pig, let me in. Porky, sipping lemonade inside, replied, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The wolf took a deep breath, but... Achoo! He sneezed so hard that a bunch of flowers nearby went flying, but the house stood still. Oh no, said the wolf, rubbing his nose. I forgot my allergies. But no worries, I'll try again. The wolf huffed and puffed, A-C-H-O. And then A-C-H-O. Achoo! But Porky's straw house just stayed there like nothing happened. Maybe straw isn't so bad after all, Porky muttered, sipping his lemonade. The sneaky wolf, with a very runny nose, gave up and waddled over to Oinky's house made of sticks. He knocked on the door and said, sounding a bit more congested, Little pig, little pig, let me in. Oinky, playing with his giant toothpick sculpture, replied, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. The wolf huffed and puffed, and then, A-C-H-O-O. Sneezed, sending sticks flying everywhere. Oinky stood there in shock, holding a single toothpick in his hoof. Well, that wasn't very nice. Oinky said, running to Snort's house. Finally, the sneaky wolf made it to Snort's brick house. He was tired, sniffily, and seriously regretting not taking his allergy medicine. But he was determined. He knocked on the door and tried to sound scary, but all that came out was a sneezy, little pig, little pig, let me in. Snort, lounging on the couch with a pizza slice in his hoof, said, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. And also, you should probably take a nap. You sound awful. The sneaky wolf huffed and puffed, A-C-H-O-O. Achoo! A-C-H-O-O. But the brick house didn't budge. He sat down on the grass, sneezing into his paws and looking very pitiful. I give up. I'm too sneezy to be scary. The three pigs peeked out of Snort's window, feeling a little sorry for the wolf. Porky said, maybe you could just ask for food next time instead of trying to blow down our houses? Oinky added, Yeah, or at least bring allergy medicine with you. Snort, ever the practical one, said, How about you join us for pizza? The sneaky wolf, still sniffling, perked up. Pizza. I love pizza. And so, the wolf joined the pigs for pizza in Snort's brick house. As it turns out, the sneaky wolf wasn't so bad after all, just a little sneezy and misunderstood. From that day on, the pigs and the wolf became the best of friends. 
And whenever the wolf felt a sneeze coming on, the pigs made sure to have tissues and allergy pills handy, just in case. The end.